Okay, so you're in the finals? Is in the finals. How are you feeling? It's not too bad, is it? Not too bad, but still, I can feel it in here. We've done well so far. Just enjoy it. So now they're starting to call out the... And have fun. Good luck. Alright, Night Fury doesn't want me to call the winner. He says, who's the underdog? I don't want to play this game. This is a hot race. We are doing some course repair, a couple photos, and then we're going to be gritting up with our final four. We'll run them three times, and there are finishes on that. We'll do a full introduction of our final four as we get closer to getting them gritting up. That'll be here in a few moments. Your final four before official introduction will be Maverick, FPV Doug, Red Rue FPV, and BMS Thomas. It'll be using this three race finale it'll really be will it be the fastest or will it be the most consistent and with that on our minds looking at the fastest most consistent to this moment has really been bms thomas fastest lap on the track in qualifying which is still standing as our fastest lap of the track of a 19.026 19 not 26 Fastest seed time, fastest three from qualifying, had the entire field by two seconds a lap. He was 58 seconds to 104 as a seed time. And then here in our preliminary round of our championship races, he won all four of them. So TQ, fastest lap, has won all four races to get to this point. But that's just for a ticket here in our final four. He still has three more races to keep it. He's the fastest. He's been the most consistent. But will he be able to keep that on with the pressure? This is awesome right here. There's your final four. Taking a knee for our photos with our media team. Final four, guys. It is a Sunday fun day. It is drone racing time one more time as we will officially introduce you to your final four on fan chart number seven, which will be in the bottom right-hand corner of our screen. He won his last heat coming into this one. What do you do for your first pilot to work in our final four? Make some noise for Maverick. Because he's going the distance. He's going for speed. The guy who battled it out with Maverick, and he got two wins over the course of the day. Big ones when they counted. This is one of the picks that they've been talking about in our chat as well. Contestant number two on Fat Shark, number five. Make some noise for FPV Doug. Let's go up to the guy who'll be your third qualifier, one of our top seeds, qualifying third overall through qualification, coming in the number two spot. He is one of the picks, one of the fastest on the track, and one of the guys, if he gets that whole shot, he is one to contend with as well. Three races, and the win could be his. Make some noise if you could for the guy on Fat Shark 3, Red Rue, FPV. Because we all just want to be big rock stars and live in and then there was one. He's the pilot who'll come in with the target on his back since we first went green on practice session and qualifying session number one yesterday. He has the fastest lap of the track here at the 2017 Aussie Open of the 19-0. He was your top qualifier getting the field by an average of two seconds a lap. Over through our top 32 elimination, four rounds, four times a champion. Your top contender coming in as your TQ. What do you do for the man on Fat Shark number one, BMS Thomas. Let's do it to it one last time. Four pilots about to take seats and to take in that Fat Shark FPV feed. A battle over three rounds to decide our 2017 Aussie Open champion. Good luck, pilots. This is the first one of many. Make your first one your best one. Goggles down, thumbs up. 
pilots arm your quads as we go live on the tone in less than five yeah, here we go. This is going to be some great watching. We're going to do two more times after this. Low side of the tunnel, high side of the tunnel. And BMS Thomas push himself up the front, but I'm watching him on Red Roo FPV. FPV Dunk getting ahead, though, making a move up to the number two spot. And Maverick, let's take him into that backside as we do the hurdles with BMS Thomas and Red Roo. FPV Dunk as well, right in the thick of things. And, oh, no, we're down one. Maverick down on lap number one. BMS Thomas two seconds ahead of Red Roo FPV. And FPV Dunk just about a second second off of them and there is a big pass there as Red Rue gets a little lost doing that yaw spin FPV dunk up in the number two spot and B BMS Thomas this is his in the hurdles section next to go into the hurdles is FPV dunk in the number two spot one more to go for your leader BMS Thomas FPV dunk about to cross over here 3.4 seconds back Red Rue FPV running the number three spot and it comes down to our final lap here on round number one of this triple A main championship here of our final four 50 58 down to this moment right here and it's smooth sailing around that tower for your winner of race number one unstoppable once again today bms thomas three laps 107 and there goes across the line fpv doug in the number two spot and red root down maverick down that is it for heat number one let's put some packs in it and do it again wow most on, nervous race right I think I've ever had. Okay, let's go leader change batteries. Changes, <laughs> leader changes all over the place. FPV Dung, there we are. I know they're going crazy right now. Man, the build-up rock out, Judar says. No pressure. Come on, Doug. So Hans was calling on Doug, cheering on Doug, and Doug finished second overall. Yeah. Yes, Dougie. You should, you should call the go. race. Yeah, we'll do. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Shaking. Shaking more. Uh, Jodorish 2 like says, what if someone the crashes out and seriously luck, breaks buddy. their quad? Can they you fix it there? Squad, yeah. Everyone has a spare quad. You've been spotting me for like ever. Thank you. You're right. You're right. Humboldt 710 says, yeah, buddy. That is, uh, are you cheering on the roo? The rooster? Is that what that is? That's your fins. I like your style. Thanks, Mr. Webb. Mr. Webb thought he'd make me a hat. I really like it. Man of many words as well. I like his style. That was like your DRL interview. I like to race and go fast. I'm Rec Rec. And the grand champion of this also gets that ticket to go to Muncie, Indiana to the International Open, where they'll run eight tracks simultaneously, 64 pilots in the air at a time, with freestyle, racing, team racing, some other crazy stuff. FPV soccer, we're crazy in North America. Everyone got goggle cables in. Everyone feeling good? Shout out to Team Bolt RC coming in on our chat. Shark fins for days. I love it. All right, pilots, let's get real. One win so far to BMS Thomas here in our championship round. FPV Doug was second. They're the ones with the chance. Everyone else, you got to go for it here on round two. Goggles down, thumbs up. Pilots, arm your quads as we go live on the tone in less than five. That whole shot, everyone running for it, and I'm watching uh, Red Rue once again on the backside of Maverick. BMS Thomas is able to get that whole shot and push further well out in front and see if we can get someone in front of him. I think that's going to be the ticket as he goes through the tower, the high side, Red Rue in the number two spot, but FPV Doug battling it out with him, and there's a oh smash out of the top of the gate. Red Rue, that was FPV Doug and Red Rue connecting. Maverick going down as well. FPV Doug is is still up. Red Rue not able to take off. We just lost FPV Doug as we see everyone with controllers down, goggles up. This is going to be another victory lap for BMS Thomas. Let's go full screen. This is what I normally do. Let them take all their laps. One more to go. A victory lap here. Mathematically, I think it's his, right? I don't know. Red Rue with the second. Uh, here we go. Flippy floppies before the gate. Don't mess up. If you crash, that would be so embarrassing. There's 116 people watching at home and 30 watching here don't mess up bms thomas here he is you guys might want to watch this line you want a chance to beat the unbeatable pilot into our final round still to come bms thomas to look at that 
There's a yaw spin and a barrel a barrel roll at the exact same time. Two axes turn out of the tower. Three laps, 119. One of the fastest times on the track, and he was just having fun. Bring it down, and let's put lipos in. We have our finale coming up. One last race to go, and another win to BMS Thomas right there. It's done. That's it. He's on bed. Really? You're unbeatable. You got two wins. Even if you get a fourth, that's a level. So we are putting new lipos in, and the scores on my screen that you guys don't see are tentative. We are just going to see who wins further. Red Rue or FPV Doug on lap number two. Well, one buddy, you've worked up this. I'm thinking Red Rue did. I'm just guessing. So I think FPV Doug bit the gate. So they will cross over, and then the decision on lap two. And we're watching two and three, Red Rue and FPV Doug. How you doing? Two races, yeah. one, one more to go. Yeah. Tell us about your quad you're using. Helix, I'm um, running 2400 KV instead of 26. I ran 26 for the well, time trials, but 24 is for control yes. for the racing. Um, a half broken TBS antenna on the yes. inside, that is, yeah. but it's going, so I'm like, I'm not going to change that. It's working, it's fine. Uh, 2.1 mil lens, Props. Icon 30 amps, and the uh, 5x45 V3 props. Okay, and battery? Battery, oh, running a dog comp for these last two qualifiers. Uh, we'll also be running the Graphene uh, 1300. For the other ones, do we? Yeah. Yep. Because we've only got four of these guys. I only got four of these guys, but these seem to be going well. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. At this point, of course, the final page has been written and inked that BMS Thomas is your champion. He was able to qualify in the number one spot, hold the track record, and win each and every round in heat until this moment right here. You guys did quite well finishing in our top four, but Thomas is number one. You can go back as one of the bridesmaids behind the bride, but if you are not BMS Thomas and you have a control in your hand and fat sharks on your face, this is your time right now to give it to the champ. You got one opportunity. Take that full streak, that no-hitter away from them. You got this. BMS Thomas, get the launch, and they'll be watching you all race long. Good luck, pilots. It is the final race of a Sunday afternoon. Regardless of who wins this heat, this is going to be some great watching once again. Pilots, goggles down, thumbs up. Pilots, arm your quads, and we'll go live on the tone in less than five. Here we go. The champ is out there. Red Rue got a little bit of a clip into someone. I'm watching BMS Thomas shake a little bit, but he is your leader by a bunch. Running number two spot, Maverick, FPV Doug in the number three spot. BMS Thomas already out in the chicane section, but they are hungry for him. They are going for him right now as he's in that back hurdle section already around the tower. Maverick trying to take off again as we have running in the number two spot, Red Rue FPV. He will stick it in the tower. Hardcore. What a great way to finish. Out in that tower, that Schizo Tower, FPV Doug. Doug running number two spot. He's going to go onto that lead lap with BMS Thomas. 10.5 seconds back. We are down to two. We may have to play the gauntlet this afternoon to stop this guy's parade. BMS Thomas about to go onto his victory lap one last time at the Aussie Open. Onto lap number three with a 21.9. FEV Doug, the only one still in the air. A great send off for our field. Maverick, I think, is fourth overall. Red Rue FPV is third overall at this event. FPV Doug is your reserve champion of the 2000. 2017 Aussie Open. As we turn your attention to that backside one last time through the tower, your 2017 Australian Open champion, the one and only unstoppable BMS Thomas. Unstoppable. That is the sign of a champion right there. He's going to do the tailor for you guys. There's a power loop outside of the tower like that. Yeah. Here we are. He is clear for freestyle work in that tower right there. Five-time healer on roll up and above it through the flag. Hitting gaps for days. Power looping gates looking at that tower. They are looking for a dive. They want to see a dive on that tower. Sean Taylor going crazy on the chat. He's looking at it right here, guys. Yeah, buddy. What a great event. Thank you to our great partners. FMR, Full Metal Racing. Thank you, Helena, Free Sky, Bad Shark, 
Rotor X, Gen Zace, Next MPV, and our host, FPVR.org. And our congratulations to your champion, BMS Thomas. Well done. How do you feel? Thank you. That was epic run, man. Good racing, man. Awesome. <laughs> Chat's still blowing up right now. Awesome racing by everyone, according to Anthony McBeth. Well done, buddy. Hope you guys enjoy that. See you around. Awesome racing. Jodderish, too, saying congrats, Thomas, saw as he represents. Everything FPV says congrats, Thomas. I knew you could do it. Kentucky says unstoppable. Flying Ants is great coverage and great racing, everyone. Thanks so much. And, of course, if we can get all of the pilots out to our tunnel right before our start finish gate, the next FPV and FMR flags, we could have everyone out there, including our final four. We'll do our prize presentations and a group photo of our top pretty much 32 here still today on Sunday, the 2017 Aussie Open. Those still watching us online, 79 people, they want to see who's getting all the prizes, what's being handed out. And right now you're seeing our roving cam, that is Mr. Q, and a tour of our pit row. Some of our great partners up on the backside, Fat Shark, RC Vision Systems, Jan's Ace. Lots of smiles, why not? It is a glorious sunny Sunday afternoon. We're going to line out some of those prizes out there, guys, and we want everyone out there with your quads and stuff. Get some great photos. There is your champion. Another great look at him right there. Unstoppable, undefeated. <laughs> Big thing. <laughs> when the pressure was on, I mean, I tried to get up in his head on that last one a little bit. I'm like sicking on three fast, fast pilots. I'm like, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> he was still able to hold him off. There's our buddy. There's Mr. Ghost. Sean Taylor still with us for awards. Kentucky says, awesome show, y'all. Thanks for the stream. Good job, everyone. Great coverage. Congrats to Thomas. That's coming from Melbourne Drone Services. Tasman Drone Racers also saying shout-outs to Doug. Uh, from all the New Zealand crew, thanks for repping us, bro. Nice work. Much respect. All right, so uh, also top 32, outstanding, making that cut down from 58. Then, of course, our final eight, and now our final four with the prizes. But everyone, all superstars here in drone racing over the course of the 2017 Australian Open. We're going to start with fourth place. Had some tough luck, but he made it all the way up to that final. Came in with a lot of velocity, a lot of stamina. Your third runner-up, fourth overall on our podium, is Maverick. And courtesy of Full Metal Racing and Next FPV, Dave is going to hand over those prizes right there. Congratulations. Let's go to your second runner-up, third on our podium, qualifying second to our finale. Also with a little bit of bad luck, was so close, but a great finish. Third overall, Red Rue. And he gets the Helinox chair. There you are. Congratulations. It's an awesome chair. Don't fall asleep in it unless it's time to fall asleep in it. Thank you, Helinox. Great prizes. As we go to your reserve champion, he is going to get so much cool stuff from our friends at Free Sky, right? Oh, yeah. Everyone's been coveting this prize. This guy earned it. A bunch of wins over the day. Finished up as your reserve Australian Open champion, FPV Doug. And lastly, the ultimate champion, TQ, fastest lap, winning every single heat on the track today. Your legendary champion for 2017, BMS Thomas. <laughs> He 
He is getting so much swag. There is the trophy right there. Designating Australian Open champion. Very nice. He's getting some other great swag coming in. And, of course, that trip to Muncie, India, to the International Open. Hang out with a whole bunch of crazy drone pilots. Four days, eight tracks. A good time representing Australia. An awesome champion. This is live, live stream radio, or video from a FPV race as we have Mr. Q Cam. And I'm out here with the champ, and they are in the live stream right now saying, let's talk to Thomas, let's talk to Thomas. So we're going to make it happen. Dude, how exhilarating are you feeling right now? This is just such a huge win. I'm feeling pretty crazy. I didn't expect to have such a clean run for the whole thing. Um, it's... Uh it's pretty awesome and humbling to kind of race with everyone else and among everyone else and have the bonus of somehow making it all the way through to the final. Now this course, what did you think about this course? I know you guys do some smaller races and you've been very lucky to travel elsewhere and do some of the bigger races. How about having an outstanding course like this here in the homeland? What do you think of the course that they built? Oh, it was epic. Um, it was really well designed, which is awesome. And the 3D elements were so much fun. Um, it's one of the best tracks I've ever raced on, if not the best. And it's awesome. Thank you so much to the guys who actually designed that track. Uh, they did an epic job to make it look like Australia, but then also be really raceable. And we didn't even have that many mid-air collisions. So it's really, really well designed track. <laughs> And it's got to be fun, too, to travel drone race to drone race on Team BMS Web. Your spotter who's there, you are racing against him yesterday. He tried to get you. Obviously, you got him. You got everybody. But how cool is it to travel and have your, your dad as your spotter? That's got to be an awesome experience, father and son, and representing the BMS Web team. Oh, yeah. It's so good, um, obviously, because we get to spend a lot of time together. Um, but also just having the spotter I can trust. And then also someone who can support me for everything and who does support me with everything. Um, yeah, I'm so thankful to be where I am and have my dad there with me all the time. And who else is helping you here in drone racing? Do you have any sponsors that you want to thank here? They're getting you down the road and uh, keeping you up in the air and on the top of the podium? Um, yes. Yeah, so first, obviously, I have to thank the organizers for this. Uh, they did an amazing job with the track, getting the venue, um, everyone together. And then obviously having you come over and do the best commentating ever. Uh, thank you so much for that. Um, my sponsors are Impulse RC, T-Motor, FR Sky, uh, and HQ Prop. Uh, they've been so supportive uh, throughout my whole flying journey. Uh, really just helped me with everything. Um, keeping my aircraft going and just helping me no matter what and I'm yeah really thankful and thanks dad he already thanked dad at the other segment yeah of course now you've won a trip to Muncie Indiana which is the home of model aeronautics in America we're gonna have a huge event the International Open there's gonna be so many pilots there from around the world you're coming in just on this streak who are you gunning for when you make that trip in July to America um, gunning is in like supporting. Going for you're gonna beat. Who are you calling out right now? Who are you calling out right now at the International Open? Yeah, I have no idea. I've never thought that far. <laughs> I'll answer it for you. Sean Taylor, he's coming for you. What an awesome time. Your champ once again, BS Thomas. What a great event and awesome racing with you. It's been a pleasure. Best of luck, and I'll I'll see you in a couple months in America. Thank you very much, and thank you to everyone who stayed tuned for the live stream and who came down to this event and made this awesome. There we are, the legend that is BMS Thomas, your champion of the Australian Open.